Have you ever had someone start a conversation with you saying, now, I don't want you to worry. I don't know about you, but when someone starts a conversation with me saying, don't worry, the first thing that I do is worry. And I guess why that is, is because I know that some kind of news is coming, some kind of news that's important that might change my life. And so, like thinking about this gospel for this weekend, it's kind of how Jesus starts. His first words are, do not let your heart be troubled. So when Jesus says that, you know something good's coming. What's the thing that he says? What's the big news? He says a line that I think is one of the most famous lines that I'd like to go into a little deeper. He says, I am the way and the truth and the life. Jesus is basically saying, I am God. Now, I don't think he's saying it to brag. He's not saying it so that everyone can stop what they're doing, get on their knees and worship him. No, no. Jesus is taking this opportunity to reveal who he is so that we can know more about God. Have you ever thought about God as some far away, distant thing? Like, you know something's out there, but gosh, it's too big for us humans to understand. But I know there's some kind of spirituality, some vagueness towards God. Well, Jesus is saying, that's not the case. That if you know him, you know God. And this is radical because Jesus was a person in the flesh. What he's saying is a person that the disciples ate with, a person that they drank with, a person that they celebrated good times and bad times with, a person that they had a relationship with. That's the God that we're talking about. And so this is such huge news. And so when Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, there's nothing we should worry about. There's only an opportunity to get to know Jesus Christ better, the God who created us. And I know that I'm always trying to do that. So feel free to comment below. What are some ways that you've got to know Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life, the bridge to the Father? Thank you.